Hello everyone and welcome <laughs> This is the Caribbean, and here's St. Lucia. Now let's take a peek, shall we? In common with much of the island's speckled region, St. Lucia was inhabited by the Arawak Taino people and then the conquering Caribs, both of whom named the island the Land of the Iguanas. After many years and millions of dollars worth of research, experts have concluded that the natives gave the island this name because of all the iguanas living there. Okay, I made that up. But anyway, in 1605, some English folk attempted a settlement, but were butchered by the Caribs and abandoned the island. They returned a few decades later, but the violent Carib reception was repeated. In 1650, France claimed the island. Four years later, the English claimed it. France then took official control. The King of England didn't care and gave it to this guy, who probably needed the space to store all his wigs. The French kicked the English out, but they returned during the Seven Years' War to take it again, only to hand it back to France soon after. But this wasn't the end of the insular arm wrestling contest, for the British took the island again in 1778. Now St. Lucia had been meanwhile populated by imported African slaves to grow sugar, but some forces of revolutionary France arrived and that regime banned slavery in 1794. But they couldn't ban the British, who returned to take the island once again. And naturally the French fought back, and the British fought back too. The two continued to bicker over it until 1814, when Britain gained it in the Treaty of Paris after Napoleon's defeat in the War of the Sixth Coalition. Slavery was abolished, and quiet years followed as the country adjusted to the fast modernizing world. In 1942, Nazi Germany attacked British vessels in St. Lucia's capital during the Battle of the Caribbean. The country gained independence in 1979, choosing to remain within the Commonwealth. The next year, the country was struck by the Category 5 Hurricane Allen. Thereafter, the economy of St. Lucia shifted from its then major export bananas to focusing on tourism, and St. Lucia today has a high level of human development and typically attracts over a million visitors per year. And despite its small size and population, St. Lucia has produced two Nobel Prize winners, namely the economist Arthur Lewis and the poet Derek Walcott, whose beautifully written masterpiece, Omeros, is one of the 20th century's finest literary works. So that's it for St. Lucia, and that's all from me for now. Bye bye!